till now. Okay, <clears throat> now there are eight types of uh, um, web locator we are using while doing the automation. So what are those locators? The first one is by ID, then by name, by link test, by partial link test, by tag name, and by XPath. Okay, <clears throat> one minute, guys. Can you right click on that one? Email address field. Yes. And click on inspect. Inspect, inspect. Last one. Yeah. Okay. So this is the web element. If you click on that one, whatever is got selected. Okay. Do control. Uh, uh, right click on that. No, no. Huh? Yeah. Right click on that. Yes. So once you click on that, it will get highlighted like email. So right click and copy XPath over there. Copy. Yeah. We'll see whatever it is already there. So that how we are using and then we'll see how we can do it. Yes. Copy XPath. Copy XPath. Below one. Below one. No, no, not full. Yes. Copy XPath. Click on that. Do control F. Yeah, put that one. So it is one of one, right? Yes. Can you see guys there one of one? Okay, so just copy, uh, copy this one. Copy this one and place it in your notepad. So if only the email field is getting highlighted, right? Can you check that one? Email field is getting highlighted or not? No, no, no. Entire field is getting highlighted over there. This one? Yeah, only the email field we need. Only email, not the entire one. Right click only on email. Yes, correct. Inspect. Okay, so this is the expert. See, email address got highlighted. Now right click on that. Whatever is selected, right click. Correct, correct, correct. Yes, correct. It will not go. Don't worry. It will not go. Copy XPath. Good. Control F. Yeah. yeah. Put there. Control V. Now can you see this is the correct, this is the correct XPath. Whatever previously you had uh, done, that was wrong one. Because once you select this email field, field should get highlighted. Now and it is showing one of one means this is the unique XPath you are taking. Got it? Got it. Yeah, copy this one, put it in, uh, put it in your notepad. Which one, ma'am? This one? Yeah, yeah, this one, correct. So this is the XPath for your email address. The one, the uh, yeah, notepad which you have already prepared. The same you need to open, correct. Enter. Yeah, this is for email. Put their email. No, no, not here, not here. Okay. Again, go to that Facebook page. Go on Chrome. Okay. Now click on that password, right? Click same way you need to find the XPath for password. Now show me how you will find it. Hmm, correct. Correct. Yes, right click on that. Yes. Copy, yeah, control F. Yes, so it is getting highlighted. Copy this one. Yeah, same for sign in.
Yes, correct. Whatever web element you want to find, just right click on that element. Then only it will get selected. And make sure that whatever XPath you are giving, that is identifying that particular login only. Yes, correct. Correct, correct. Next. Yeah, so we have all the three element. Now what will happen with these three element? If it, instead of putting, <coughs> see what happened on UI guys, UI I'll put sonali.kumbalwar at the red gmail.com password is blah, blah, blah. Then I will click on login and it will get opened. But with the help of automation, we are giving the XPath. Through XPath, this page will be opened. User will not able to see this one. So what is the way for that? Uh, go to the script. Now we have test data is ready. Our test data is ready. In the same way, on one page, if I am giving you Facebook, take all the XPath for all the things like forgot password. What is the XPath for uh, forgot password? Create new account. Whatever, I mean, web element you have, just try to find out the N number of XPath. Okay, and try to try to open the application with the existing things like XPath we already have. Okay, we'll see in detail what is the full X path and what is the absolute and what is the relative. That is the further thing. Whatever existing is there that is working or not that you need to check. If that thing is not working, then you need to apply your logic like different techniques we have for X path. We have different techniques we are, we are using and if X path is not, you are not there, then we have by class, by ID, by partial uh, link test and link test uh, text also. So this is the further step. But yes, initially whatever you have that you have to use it in the application. You have system you have. You know how to inspect the element. That's all guys. If, if, if even these steps you are, you knows. We are done with the you know some one or two percent of automation. And this is the only thing we are doing in automation. Nothing else. Then there are different techniques we are using here. You know how to you know get all the web element in one class and all that. That is the further part. Okay, now go to the script, Moses. Script. Yeah, script. Close this one. Close this page. Go to script. Yeah. Now driver dot. Okay. So we have uh, suppose now this Facebook Facebook page you have opened right. But this is in ma minimize mode. So if you want to maximize, then we have one met method. Driver dot manage. Right there, driver dot manage dot maximize. Driver dot manage dot maximize. Correct. No, sorry, driver dot manage dot window. Correct. Window D O W. Yeah. Window. Next one. Yeah. Do window driver dot manage dot window. Yeah. Dot maximize. Maximize is yeah. It will auto populate. Yes. Maximize. Click on that. No need to write. If it is getting auto auto populate, then select that one. Okay. Okay. Driver dot manage. Now here you need to put some weight also. Okay. So we have thread dot slip, or you, you can uh, we can say we have two types of weight. One is implicitly weight. Second is explicitly weight. The simple definition of implicitly weights means suppose you have three element on Facebook page. We have username, mm -hmm. we have password, and we have login. So we are giving the implicit weight like 10 seconds. So within 10 seconds, this all three web element will get open. OK, and if you think that I want username and password only get open in uh, 10 seconds and the third element sign in, it should be after five seconds. So you can modify that condition. In that case, you can use the explicit weight. OK, so this is the difference between implicit implicit weight and explicit weight. So we can use there both the weights. Now, right there, driver. Uh, uh, now we have to find the element, right? So we have one method. Driver, right there. Driver dot find dot element. 
driver dot find it everything will get auto populate moses so no worries what see find by element can you see find by element select that one no no that is elements that is multiple yes correct yeah find by elements then by dot b is capital b is the class name by dot x path yes correct dot x path see x path has already come there right can you see this one correct correct there is only one x path okay now in this in this string you need to pass that email address right sorry first is username right copy paste that one username id this one so first one first one the username x path okay yes put there instead of null and we yeah, are put that in double quote double quote yeah yes no no double quote double quote or remove that one remove the remove that path remove that one yes now put double quote first put double quote yeah now inside that you need to put your correct exactly give your uh, give your uh, colon colon red sign is there it means it has error you need to close that one correct now it it got in the same way write the driver dot find by element x path and password for that yeah yes auto select always auto select don't write anything by your own yes element i will let you know when we can use elements and when we can use element double quote first be a yeah, by dot x path you can copy yeah correct double quote first put double quote otherwise it will give you error guys you will not understand where to put single quote where to put double quote and where is my x path so it's always better whatever is uh, default syntax put it as it is and then put your element over there correct okay now here in x path we have to find our email address right so we have one method over there like send keys so put there one method dot send keys before this semicolon you need to put one dot send keys it will auto populate at the end of yes end end here first one email after email bracket is closed right yes ma'am yeah so write there dot correct 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 app correct dot not there not there see one minute moses hold on hold on what you have done here see driver dot find elements by dot x path and you have close okay close two bracket then you need to write dot send keys and in bracket at yeah. the end of this first email yes correct correct second bracket the end of this semicolon is there right yeah. yes yeah dot send keys no after after not inside outside of that yeah dot send keys it will automatically come you just do dot send keys s e n d one minute yeah first one came right yeah. open that one yes send keys and put your uh, email id over there in the double quote later on you can change this one ma'am
able to do that one? Yeah, please check it. One minute, I'll give you something. What did you return? Uh, email, yeah, password dot send key, same way for password also. You need to put your password over there. Yes, put there properly same keys and then again driver dot find element the same but there in the third sign in we are not sending something we are clicking on that button right so yeah. once you put that one instead of dot send keys you need to put dot click method it will automatically come guys don't worry Yeah, in the same way for login also. Sorry, man. Yeah. Yes, what is coming there? Yeah, driver dot find element correct. What was the X? Yeah, double quote. Always put double quote first. These are the simple practice guys you need to follow. Then only your X bar and whatever elements you are getting. It will work fine because now this is very small, so you can easily identify. But if it is very complex sometimes, so it become very difficult. By dot x path, yes, double quote. <laughs> dot click. No, 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 dot click. And now one more thing in dot send case first email is your actual email ID you need to provide. What is your email ID here for pay Facebook? What is the login you are using? Hmm. Because XPath we have already given now send is you are actually passing that one. Okay. So in double quote, instead of that ID equals to email, you need to put your ID like sonali.kumbalwar at the rate gmail.com. This is my Facebook ID. Same way you need to put here. Where ma'am? Are in same keys. You have, yes, correct, correct. Here you need to put your actual ID. Okay. In double quote, correct. Remove that X path. Moses, remove that X path. It is not required. Now here you are passing your actual um, Facebook login ID. Correct, correct. Yes. This is your username. Yes. I mean, if you if you will open the Facebook page, you are you putting this one? Correct. Yeah. What is password? You can change it later on. You can change it. Don't worry. Put your password also. No one is going to use your password. Immediately change it. Uh, Otherwise, it will not work. Otherwise, take your Gmail ID. If it is so personal, if you are thinking, then you need to change the link above. One second, let me check. Sorry? I am checking. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Password also. Because this is something sensitive. If you do not want to share, then no worries. You can put their Gmail ID and here in the same way. But I'll show you how it will work.
or just for five minutes you can put your password guys no one is going to hope no one is going to check right guys other people No. Yes, do something fake one or which you are not using. That also work. Yeah, remove that uh, bracket also. If it is red, it means you have put something wrong. After com, there is one bracket in email. Because yes, yes, correct. Remove that one. Yeah, correct, correct. Now it got corrected. Yes, that is also unwanted. Uh, again, yeah, correct. Put your password over there. Immediately you can change uh, Moses. No worries. This Facebook and all these are, you know, stupid things. So I don't think that anybody is using much. Next. Yeah, click. Uh, OK, now after maximize right there, thread dot slip. Thread dot slip is we are putting some weight. We are not immediately opening each and everything. We are windows dot maximize right after that. Click on enter. After maximize window, enter and write there thread dot slip. No, 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 not here. Up. Where is the maximize sent sentence? Driver dot manage. Correct, correct. Enter there. No, 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 no. After maximize. Okay, right. You can put over there also once the Facebook, but no need to put over there. After maximize. Yes, enter maximize. Yes, put there thread dot slip. Enter. Put enter there. It should not be like this. Enter in next line. It should be. It will not auto -pop auto populate in this way. Moses, this is not the way. OK, write it. Select that one. Take it in the next line. 5000. It is millisecond means for 5000, uh, 5 second it will wait. Colon. Yeah, and take that in the next line, this thread dot slip. It should not be in the one line. Just enter here after colon, maximize bracket is there, right? Just enter over there. This is the separate sentence, guys. Yes, correct. Enter. Yeah, so what will happen here? Once you maximize the screen, it will wait for five seconds. OK, and then it will open. It will put your email ID and then password. Now we are getting here a error. Over, over that error, what is getting? So here it is asking for some exception. Just click on that red line. Yes, it will show you. Yeah, click on that thread thread dot slip. It will show you some ex exception and you just need to no not open. Yeah, it will give you some auto population guys. Click on that unhandle or. One minute add throw declaration. Click on that add through. First one correct. Always select first one. Select that one. Correct. Now error will go right in the same way. Put this thread dot slip after email ID and after password. Enter in the new line guys in the new line. OK, that is something new sentence. Yeah. Ah, enter correct thread dot slip. What will happen uh, with this thread dot slip? Once you put email ID, it will wait for five five seconds. OK, yeah. Slave. Everything will be auto populate. You just don't need to remember anything here. Five second only. 
colon. It will not ask you now the exception. OK, it's gone because you have already put the exception. Now on the send case password also put put the same thread dot slip. This is just for your understanding guys, but in actually you don't have to put n number of weights here. We have other way like implicitly weight instead of putting 100 thread dot slip we will put only one implicit weight. Correct, absolutely. If you'll write the program, then only you will be practiced. There is no point if I'm giving teaching you and then you are just seeing no actually do it. You will really enjoy this automation guys. Trust me. Correct. Now can you see if there is any control S now? For formatting what we are doing control shift and F. Do control shift and F so that everything will be in one line in a proper way. Moses okay. control shift and F. Yep. Have you done that one? Yes ma'am. OK now uh, can you see any error over there or uh, it's fine? We can uh, execute yep. now. Run that one. Close all the Chrome browser. Don't open it any any anything right now. Right click on this. Close that one if it is already working. Yeah, OK, now yeah. Now run this program. We have written each and everything, but if it, we miss something, we'll check. It will wait for five seconds, guys. Okay. So user ID and password it has taken login. It did not work, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so XPath is now this XPath is not working there. Correct? Yes. Yeah, so what we can do for login now? Yes, any idea? Check the XPath again over there. You can go for full XPath now. If XPath is not working, take the full XPath. Here. Yeah. yeah, instead of XPath. Which one? This one? Sign in is not working, right? Which one is not working? Sign in. Correct. So we need to verify only sign in. One minute, guys. One minute. One minute. Yeah. Only sign in is not working, right? Can you verify this path is working or not? Dot click. One more time. Because if you have written it correctly, it will give you the correct answer. Otherwise, no. Just right click on that. Uh, or you can just copy paste this XPath and search in uh, search in login. If it is working, if it is correct or not. If it is not correct, then it will not give you the login. Only login, right click on login. Right click. Login, we need to find out the XPath for login, right? Because login is not working, correct? Yes. Right click. Inspect. Yes, inspect. Right click on that. It should be selected, not the entire thing. No, 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 no. Moses, this is the wrong thing you are doing. You just need login. Correct. Right click on only login. Not password. Right click only. Yeah, inspect now. Yes, only login field should get highlighted, not the entire frame. It got highlighted or not? Yes, like copy it. full, copy full X path now. Okay. Controller. Yeah, put there instead of that the first one, put the second one. Or again, it will not work. I think it's a button. 
got it copy it is getting copy that one now copy that one and put in put it uh, instead of login yeah put the entire thing this is the existing thing we are checking guys if it will not work we have third way yes in the path yes inside double quote make sure that everything is correct See, it is giving error it means you have put something wrong over there if it is red it means you have put something wrong the entire x path yes remove that one that the square bracket is also there no 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 see whatever existing path is there completely remove that one no bracket no square bracket no semicolon nothing then only it will show you correctly yeah it is not giving error right yes very good control s close the existing window just do control s close the existing window close existing window yes close everything now freshly open this one wait for 5 second what is error there check the error now there must be some error right below below that console what is the error what error they are giving scroll down no such element means means unable to locate that element means not able to select now the third way of getting that element again right click on that uh, sign in guys sign in on that yeah sign in text path moses i have ping you in the group or we have other way guys also check whether that is working or not working yeah moses they are working ma'am that is that one is working i yeah, am checking yeah execute that one or you can do one thing after password whatever uh, thread dot slip is there remove that one it will immediately maybe show you or the second x path i have given you put that one no 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 one minute one minute what no 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 in this way you don't have to see driver dot find two times you don't have to write here you are writing two times this is the wrong one remove first one you just have to replace Re yeah very good very good 
Now instead of this for yeah driver dot, I have given you one more X path. Put that one. Okay. For sign in only. For sign in. Put that one. Yes, in dot uh, before dot click, whatever sign in uh, expat you had taken, remove that one and put it whatever I have given you. Which one? Man? Not here, Moses. Replace that one. Whatever is not working, we just have to replace that one. Correct. Exactly. You got me now. Don't move the click. Click is as it is. Moses, click is as it is. Only our web element is not working. Our X path, yes, correct. You need to just replace the X path. Everything is fine. For sign in, our X path is not working. So we are doing some work around here. That what? Yeah. Yes, right there. Whatever I have ping you. Yes, correct. Try that one. Yeah, run, run now. Yes, Moses, run, run that program now. Close the previous console, close the previous browser and then run newly. Make sure that there is no red line or no errors are there. Yes, Moses. The second one, yeah, whatever you have written, it is correct one. The, because the first one is also not working, right? Yeah, now click on execute, run. Run with Java application. It is still giving error. You there, Moses? Sorry, yeah, okay. Just right click on that. Close this console. Close this console. Close everything. Whatever is open on. Yeah, close everything. Close this one. Close other terminal and everything. Projects and whatever is given in the console. Close everything. This one. Yeah, yeah. Below that one. Now run the program. Run it. The second one also you have put right. The button I have given you. Oh no, you have put the wrong X path for sign in. Again, I have given you one more X path that is button. Driver dot find element by dot x path at the rate type equals to submit dot click. Submit dot click you need to type there. Not this one. Can I remove? Yes, yes, remove. Yes, entire remove entire thing. Yes, correct. Bus bus. Yes. Now copy the second one, whatever I have given you. Second one, I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, in WhatsApp group check, I have pinged the second also. Okay. Not this one, not this one. I have pinged you one more over there. I didn't check this one, ma'am. Driver, you can see here, right? Driver dot find element by dot x path submit. Yeah. You need to put see I'm, I'm i'm giving you again again i have given you just copy paste that one yes correct at the rate type equals to submit okay 
Okay. Yeah, we have to click now. Remove one. Okay, and remove above thread dot slip. We have two colon now. This one. Yeah, remove that one. Yes, and we have uh, yeah. Now everything is gone, right? Control Shift F. Do Control Shift F so that everything will be in a beautiful way. Okay. Control Shift F. Whatever spaces or you know forward backward is everything. It will be framed. Got it. Got it. Now run it. No, not working. No, ma'am. Not working, right? No. Right click on login. Exp um, yeah, inspect. One minute now. Hold on, hold on, hold for a second. Yeah, login. Right click on that login again. Yeah, inspect again. One minute, ah. Huh? Oh, what is there? Hold on, let me check what element we can take over there. Button is there, right? We have class is there. Name, you can do one thing. Uh, do one thing, double slash. Where? One minute, one minute. I'll ping you. Name equals to login. Okay, select this one, name equals to login. Name equals to login. Just uh, write, I mean, select this one. Yeah, inside that X path. No, not this one, not this one, whatever. Yeah, here we have different attribute. No, 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 not like this. Hold on, Moses, hold on, hold on. We have different attributes here, right? Like class, okay? There is ID and one, remove, remove this one. Yeah, so name is there. Name equals to login. Can you see? Name equals to login. No, you, you went out of that sign in now. Again, go. Yeah. Can you see login name equals to or ID equals to login button? Yes. Right? So ID you can take login button or name you can take like login. So do control F. Yes, then write there name equals to login. Okay, now put this login in single quote. Okay, name equals to login, put this in square bracket. From name, name, no, 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 not this one. Name, start from name, yeah, end with N. Put the square bracket. Only one square bracket, only one. And end with this login. I mean to say, yeah, in square bracket, you need to put name equals to login. Can you highlight name equals to login now? One on one? Yeah. Is it is it uh, reflecting login? Can click on that login again? Correct. So you yes. can put this path also. Now copy this one. No 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 no. See Moses, whatever. See we are manually putting their name equals to login, right? So you just don't need to. If you'll copy, it will give you the existing one, which will be created by the system. But now it is created by you because the first two which we have taken like X path and full X path, those were working or not? Those were not working, right? Yes. Yes. So now this is the third one we are trying. Correct. So put this one now. Copy. Can I copy this? Yeah, just copy paste. Yeah, copy this one. Name equals to login. Not in this way. Just copy. Select this one. 
otherwise it will take the uh, selected one auto copy ma'am it is not able to select okay do it uh, right click and copy copy element no 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 see what will happen if will you just need to see name equals to login put it in forget about everything yeah just copy paste this one moses name equals to login you just need to copy exactly got it copy now same yeah. thing correct because if you do copy x path it will take from that element now go to the script okay and write there in single yard correct and it should be everything should there should not be any error then only it will work if you if you are putting a sim, single slash see this is have you put that one yeah in in login you need to put the correct x path name equals to login yes from where yes. yeah yeah there only there you are right type equals to submit it is not working right so yes no 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 not there that is working fine send kids we do not have any problem with user id password yeah we have problem with sign in for sign in x path is not working so where is the x path c by dot x path this is not working type equals to submit just replace that one remove that one remove entire thing yeah remove yes now paste it yes and remove the this one slash is there can you see which is not at all required this yes one. remove that one yeah remove that one again there is something wrong there is double slash now remove that one also double quotation mark is there no 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 moses this is something wrong just yes remove that one uh one minute yes remove that one and yeah. that x path is in square bracket if you have observed you have not copied that's why i'm telling you guys a single mistake can break the entire program this is the simple thing you just need to copy and paste the x path in double quote see this is the wrong way it is giving one single quote single quote only right and you have not closed this one there is one square bracket required moses can you check where is the square bracket missing here you have started from name but you have not ended it login should be name equals to login it should be in square bracket got my point moses name you have started but here single quote is there double quote is there so three quote has which is wrongly after login you need to put one square bracket correct after login after login where is login word yes after login and single quote okay yes put that square bracket square bracket it is not a square bracket it is a round bracket correct okay and you have given one more double quote after click that is also not required that's why it is giving you error yes again one more bracket you have put that is also not required no 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 the, now this is wrong can you see this is not the click method right yeah completely mess you have done now <laughs> don't write in this way there are multiple brackets you have put only dot click we required dot click bracket and one semicolon lots of unnecessary things you have put over there remove remove that double quote remove that one remove remove that also uh, now put one yeah click method only correct no 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 moses how we write click 
what is the sign of method means we are putting one bracket right yes only opening and closing it should be there how dot click okay remove entire thing and only put dot click method remove everything because you have written it wrongly that's why it is giving you error yes remove that one now put dot click dot click no again it is giving you error you initially it was correct i don't know what you are doing there but initially it was correct dot click method yes we need a single click method guys and these are few mistakes you will find that how, how i mean uh, what are the mistakes he is doing so the, the same mistakes you are also going to do someone will put click then there that there would be no bracket then something is not in double quote someone will put uh, unnecessary you know backslash forward slash so these are the few mistakes we are taking this as a you know our lesson okay so this is the exercise for you put dot click only you need to put and you need to uh, show me what xpath is working for that sign in okay okay ma'am okay do one thing uh, give their uh, forward slash in the name we have one button right in xpath or you can do one thing just copy that element and you can analyze that element what is name is given there what is the id is given there so this is generally the format is like this guys wait i'll 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 give you hold on i'll ping you in whatsapp name equals to and you have to put it as it is i mean you cannot put their login as capital or something like that no this is the standard format of xpath you cannot write it by your own it has some standard format guys one minute Moses, can you try this one also one more time? Name equals to login. Yeah, name equals to login. That's why. Yes, the same I have given. Can you try this one? Yeah, okay. button name equals to login. Moses. This login thing you are completely doing mess. There are multiple yes. Remove that line, but the better way is this click you are writing completely wrong, Moses. Okay, put put the path first. I'll I'll tell you. Button equals to name login. Copy paste over there. yes just put that one okay yeah mo the second line you you need to copy paste i just get you can you take the control we have already send you see there is one more below that one below that one you just don't go for the above one now just take the latest message yeah this one button 
no 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 two unread message are there moses there are still two unread message there are two unread message or reddy has already put one more see i am giving you again can you see now this message don't worry it will work moses don't just don't worry this is the first program that's why you are facing problem yeah reddy has 300 message now you are not reading the message just copy paste this line driver dot find element by dot xpath button name equals to login dot click entirely copy paste as it is remove your entire line don't modify that line now yes this is the beauty of xpath guys if you will do anything by your own you are gone it will it will give you some error now what is the error here the left hand side of assignment must be a very variable uh, you must have given what is there one bracket yeah so login should be in single quote not the double quote your login is in double quote put it in single quote yeah okay. see error gone now control s these are very small things guys you need to remember so this is one of the type if if your existing xpath is not working so this is the way okay double slash button whatever is input tag is given initially and then in square bracket whatever id is given name is given and at the rate name equals to login and it should be in single single quote now right click now execute this one java application it will work now close the close your existing window then only open just don't try to and close the console also everything should be closed for a fresh execution okay ma'am it is working but password is wrong why what what you have done with password now it was working fine right show me yeah. the program working okay, ma'am password is wrong you must have done something wrong show me the uh, program once close this close this page okay guys you can do one thing this is the correct password okay this is the correct xpath one minute password was already okay yeah everything okay ma'am uh, what are the given the password that is wrong okay so password you put it correctly and then it will work okay, okay. yes yeah got it okay password so guys do the same same program and show me it to tomorrow okay we have seen the existing way we have seen the manual ways also okay we'll stop here now yeah good night guys and yeah take care